So we're seeing a lot of great analytics, but the question is, how are we collecting all this information? And for that, we need to talk about API services. API facades to your backend or your target services are at the core of API services. You can create new facades or new proxies, that, which is how they're represented within Apigee Edge, by creating uh, and going through a wizard. It's a three-step wizard where you can point to a backend service or a backend target, WSDL. You name the proxy, and then you associate different policies that are most popular or, or highly useful, such as security, as well as quota management and monetization, right through the wizard itself. Rather than creating a brand new proxy right now, I'm going to show you one of the ones that we have already created for this retail solution, which is the stores proxy. In the stores facade, what you're seeing here is summary information on the overview tab, as well as you see that the target endpoint here is pointing to something uh, that's within the Apigee user grid, which is Apigee Edge's backend as a service. We'll talk about backend as a service a little bit later. We also see that there's resource information as to what endpoints that are being exposed by this facade, where is it deployed, and the performance information that's already available for this particular facade that's deployed in production. As I mentioned before, analytics are pervasive throughout, throughout Apigee Edge, and you're going to see this throughout the demo, that we have analytics information uh, as we walk through. In order to go ahead and configure the policies on, the, on this API facade, you go to the Develop tab. And what you'll notice here is we have over 30 plus policies that are available out of the box for you to apply to both the request and the response side of your API calls. It's important to note that these are out of the box policies that include traffic management, security oriented policies, mediation oriented policies that allow you to do conversion and, and transformation of data, as well as extensibility policies that enable you to use languages such as Java, Python, JavaScript, to extend policies to your custom needs. On top of that, these policies are configuration oriented. So here's the response caching policy that has been applied to, to this facade so that we are reducing the latency or the response time associated with the calls that are made to the backend service. And we can configure the timeout by simply going into the configuration oriented screen that's available here, changing the timeout and publishing that out to the, to the appropriate environment that has been configured. Besides configuring the policies, let's now take a look at backend as, as a service, which is an important and critical component of uh, Apigee Edge. Here, we are enabling customers to take data, put that within the backend as a service, and expose that for easier consumption uh, using a RESTful APIs that come out of the box anytime the data is configured within, within the backend. Here you see stores that have been configured and all of the different information associated with the stores that this facade is using is available within the backend as a service. We have configured the policies, we have stored the data in the backend as a service, and we also have the ability for developers to trace and debug the, the API policies that have been executed to make sure that the policies are being executed as expected. In the trace session, we can walk through the different execution steps and see all of the different variables that have been both on the request side and the response side so that developers can quickly debug and in an agile manner and make sure that the API facades are what they had expected to, to build and configure. 